Hi there, today we're going to learn about telling time to the hour. So learning to tell time, the first thing you need to look at is the little hand here. This is the hour hand. The hour hand travels around the clock going to each different hour. So if we look right now at the hour that is here, it's at 2. The next thing we have to do is look at the minute hand, and the minute hand is the long skinny hand here. And that one controls the minutes. It shows how many minutes have passed. So first thing we need to know is that 60 minutes is the same as one hour. That's the abbreviation for minute. 60 minutes is the same as one hour. So each time the minute hand goes all the way around the clock, 60 minutes have passed which is the same as one hour. So one hour with the hour hand is 60 minutes. We also need to remember that the minute hand, as it travels around the clock, 60 minutes pass by. So as this travels, this minute hand travels, it goes all the way around the clock. Now each time that minute hand, that long skinny hand, turns and goes around the clock and it comes around right back here to the 12. 60 minutes have passed and something happens. This hour hand is moved too because the hour hand is the same as one hour changes as well. Now we see that the hour is at two. If the clock has passed around completely that hour hand will have moved down from two all the way down to three. One hour or 60 minutes have passed by. Now the other thing for us to notice is the o'clock. O'clock means of the clock and each time the minute hand passes around it comes back to o'clock. There are 60 minutes in an hour so as it travels 59, 60 it changes the hour and it has become a new hour or o'clock. Now let's look at some ways that we can write out the time to the hour. Now there are a few ways that we can tell time to the hour and write it out. So we know that the hour hand is pointing to the two and it's at the o'clock or two o'clock. So we can write it like this. We can write two and we can write o'clock. Another way we can do it is to actually write out the word two and then follow with o'clock. Now there is also a third way that we can write it. We can write it as this, the number two o'clock. Two o'clock is the word form. And finally, we can write it like this. Two with a full colon, zero, zero. That zero, zero stands for the minutes. Two o'clock. All right, so let's practice telling some time. Can you tell me what time it, the clock says right now? Remember the rules. Start with your smaller hand, the hour hand, and then check the minute hand. So what does our hour say? That's right. It's on the 3. And the, tw the minute hand is on the 12 or o'clock. So it's 3 o'clock. If we were going to write it digitally, we would write three o'clock like that three zero zero great right, job let's try another so this is a little bit trickier both the hour hand and the minute hand are pointed to the 12. when the minute hand is pointed to the 12 what does that tell us that's right we know it's o'clock so if it's o'clock when what is the hour pointing to? You're right, it's pointing to the 12. So it is 12 o'clock. Can you tell me how to write it digitally? You're right, we're going to put a 12 there, put our full colon there, and then 0, 0. Great job. So we have been practicing telling time of the hour. We've learned the parts of a clock that we have the hour hand, the thicker hand, and the minute hand, the longer hand. We always start 
telling the time of the hour by looking at the hour hand first and then the minute hand. There are 60 minutes in an hour, and each time the minute hand goes all the way around the clock, 60 minutes have passed and we're in a new hour. Great job. Start practicing telling time of the hour, and I can't wait to talk to you soon about math.